You are watching Coast Life and summer is right around the corner and we know so many of you are going to want to take to the water, but we want you to keep in mind that it is important to have a lot of boat safety in mind when you do. So we are going to introduce you to Captain Tom and all the information he has about being a safer boater. May 17th is National Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day. Who knew? Captain Tommy knew, and that is who I'm hanging out with today at the Ocean Pines Yacht Club. And uh, we figured that with National Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day on the horizon, it's the perfect time to talk about some boat safety, especially because we've had a taste of that warmer weather, mm. people are itching to get out on the water, so. It's beautiful. It's been gorgeous <laughs> out. So why, and I mean, especially in our area, is boat safety so important? Yep. So. Ocean City and the Delaware Bays is a fantastic place to go boating. And we have lots of visitors that come and some of them do or, or do not do not really know all of the rules associated with uh, boating, particularly how to be safe when you're out there. So yes, National Safe Boating Week is uh, May 18th through the 24th. And we're kicking it off with asking everyone to remember to wear their life jackets. Hey, bring them to work, wear them around the office and remind all your friends that that wearing life jackets uh, help save lives. What we do at saferboater.org is we try to promote on-water boat training where we'll take uh, people who want to learn more, want to become experts, want to become confident and safe in the water. We bring them out on their boat and we teach them how to drive it. We go through safety checks and we do our very best to make sure that they're safe out there in the water. Awesome. We're building safer boaters. Yes. So let's <laughs> talk about saferboater.org a little bit. Mm -hmm. How did this start and uh, why did this start? Because you've got plenty of Coast Guard experience mm -hmm. and uh, you hit me with a pretty surprising statistic earlier. Yeah, I was recruited by uh, another friend of mine who was in the Coast Guard who said, hey, come along and join this nonprofit Safer Boater where we're trying to promote on-water boat training. So the uh, in 2022, it was the last uh, group of statistics we have, a little over 4 4,000 boating accidents in the United States. 632 of them involved deaths. Now, if you look at those numbers and compare it to the people who were trained, 74% of those accidents involve people that had no training at all. So we're trying to change that. We believe that if we can increase the amount of on-water boat training, we can reduce the amount of accidents and just make boating a much safer and more enjoyable activity for everybody. Yeah, definitely. So why don't we start with maybe some of the basics of yep. boater safety. Uh, kind of walk me through what people need to check, make sure that they have on deck uh, before they even take to the water. Yep, exactly. So this is a great time of year for everyone to go through all their safety gear. Look at your life jackets, uh, look at your lines, look at your throwable cushions, look at your flares, make sure nothing's expired or worn out or replace anything that's new and get your boat ready for the rest of the season. But you want to do that well beforehand, not when you're at the dock or not when you're out there on the water. Yeah. So right. next thing is to really make sure that you as a person are ready. Sure. That means yeah. put, putting on sunscreen. Yeah. I've lathered up a whole bunch today, drinking lots of water, but most importantly, avoid drinking alcohol. Driving a boat is just like driving a car, but boating and alcohol do not mix at all. And we want to make sure that not only the drivers stay sober, but the people that they're responsible for and working with are staying sober as well. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a, that's a good point to reiterate because I know a lot of times when we are uh, either, either you're docked or you're out on the bay, yep. I think a lot of people think that boating and alcohol do go hand in hand. Yep. So definitely a great reminder for people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then the last part is get that training. All right. Well, so. we're going to see some of the safer boater training in action, shall we? Yeah. You can be my next student. I'm going to be your next student. Let's go. Probably the first thing we're going to do is we'll get the boat underway. Um, you can uh, work with it and you'll be at the helm and we're just going to keep everything very slow because what we say in boat training, slow is pro. You're going to just be going in and out of gear nice and easy. And the reason why we go slow is because you, when you're docking, you only want to go as fast as you want to hit the dock. That's the secret. Keep it slow and pro. So. Uh, we'll get out there, we'll practice putting the boat in and out of gear for a little bit. And then as we maneuver around, we'll take the boat out, maybe work on getting it up on plane. So there's a point where the boat is at displacement mode is where you're driving nice and slow at that six mile an hour mark. Um, as you increase speed, the boat tends to squat and then it you know, creates a big wave and it's uncomfortable for everybody and it just feels a little goofy. But as you increase your speed, slowly but surely you'll get up on plane and you'll be driving nice and quick. 
So uh, that's the point where you have good control over the boat and you just keep it at a slow pace. It's kind of about 20 miles an hour is where most boats go. So uh, we'll keep it up there for a little bit, then we'll bring it back down off plane and we'll teach you how to slow down and come to a complete stop, which is the fun part of actually getting the boat to fully stop. That's important. Um, when we come back, we'll do the same thing. We'll just uh, try to uh, get the boat. We'll bring it to a complete stop. We'll see what the wind and waves are doing for us. And then as we pull in, we'll get the boat steering towards the dock. And then at the last minute, we're gonna put it in uh, reverse, turn our wheel and just bring it right alongside the dock nicely. And you're gonna do it all yourself. Perfect. <laughs> Great. And look at that cha-cha slide come right over. Nice. All right. And look at that. You docked it right up against Spencer. Thank you, Captain. It doesn't, doesn't get any prettier than this. Well, look I think this. I can officially say, uh, thanks to at least sort of a, a brief encounter with saferboater.org, uh, I am a safer boater. But we've got some more Coast Life headed your way, and you're not going to want to miss it.